Ed from Elk Electronic here, and today I just want to have a bit of a play uh, with ChatGPT. Um, I think we, we know ChatGPT can't generate music, but one of the things ChatGPT seems to be fairly good at is generating code. Um, so I'd like to experiment with generating some code and then putting that into Sonic Pi and um, see what comes out and see if we can make some music that way. So um, yeah, I'd love it if you want to join me, check out how this works. If you've got suggestions about what you'd like to see, maybe what we can try and generate together, um, put it in the comments below and I'll try it in the next video. We'll see how we go. Thanks for checking it out. First of all, I'm just going to ask it to try and generate some music. Um, see what it says. Yeah, so this is what it sort of starts to do, which is generating the text for our songs. It has the song structure, which is cool. It's talking about, you know, synth sounds and electronic music, which is great. Maybe we can save this for later, but it can't generate music itself. But yeah, one of the things it can do is generate code. Um, so I'd like to just experiment a little bit with generating code for Sonic Pi, and then we'll take whatever it generates and put it into Sonic Pi and see what it can come up with. So, so let's make ask it to generate a song uh, using um, Sonic Pi code. Here we go, straight up. So we've got a synth melody, that's cool, we didn't even ask for that. We've got a bass line loop there. Oh, we've even got some drums, which is, that's fun. All right, cool. Wow, it even tells us in quite some detail. There's a square wave synth, repeating patterns of notes. Bass loop using a TB303 style synth, plays a repeating pattern of low notes, and then a little bit about the drums. So let's copy this code. And we're going to take it over to Sonic Pi, put it in. All right, here's our code generated out of ChatGPT. I'm just going to try and run it straight away and see if it runs. Yeah, so that's going. I've had a couple where it's uh, gotten a bit of an issue, but... That's cool. generate a electronic uh, song uh, using sonic pi synths and drums uh, let's say with drums with electronic drum sounds and melodies based on a circle of fifths. Here we go. Off it goes. Set up the circle of fifths. There you go. It's doing that first. That's pretty cool. And then, yeah, it looks like we've got some... We'll see what its summary is at, at the end, actually, rather than me rattling it off as it goes. Let's just let it tell us at the end. Three live loops, there you go. One for a synth melody, one for a bass line, and one for a drum beat. Synth loop uses the Mod Pulse synth. And we're gonna use the, the bass loops using the FM synth. This is cool. Um, the notes variable sets up the circle of fifth by creating a C major scale and shuffling the notes, then using a rotating index to access the notes in the circle array. Very cool. All right, let's copy this in and see what this sounds like. I'm just going to create a new one. Here it is. Let's see if it runs straight up. Here we go. I'm going to go stop. Okay, let's scroll back down. Let's let's try that again with a um, strong for 
for the uh, drum beat. Let's see what it comes up with. Drum heavy kick. That sounds good. Maybe that's what it had before. I don't know. Similar to the previous version, but we now got a 4 4 beat. Let's see what it does. <laughs> it's a bit much. Alright, fair enough. Let's let's uh, try that again with a four four dance drum beat. Have have we upped the tempo? It has. It's gone up to 128 BPM. Alright, here we go. I love how fast this is, it just spits it out and off we go. I don't like these four kicks followed by the two snares and then the close symbols. That doesn't really make sense. Um, please um, include the snares and symbols in the drum pattern rather than the end I'll see if we can cope with that it's super impressive what this can do Drum, bass, snare, bass, snare, cymbal. Let play four kicks followed by a snare, and three more kicks, another snare, and finally two close cymbals and short release. Uh, don't know. Let's see how this sounds. Copy, paste, and run. <laughs> Look, we're getting there. Uh, let's let's leave it at that for now. That's kind of cool. Um, let's let's just see how we go. We can talk about some more later. Thanks for checking this out with me. Um, it's cool to see some of these things that we can start to do there. Uh, let's do some more videos. We'll see how far we can push this. Uh, if you if you've got some ideas, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you want to do, or if you're making some of this yourself. Uh, I'd be really keen to hear what you come up with. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel if, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.